What is up everyone, it's Delt Lead, and today we're going to be taking a look at the community system that I've been hosting on my Discord now for almost a year. We're coming up on a year now of service, and this place has really taken off. Currently, as of recording this video, there are 99 different crafts in the system in play right now. Now, some of them are just space debris, but almost all of them, with the exception of like maybe 10 or so, are player submitted, player built, player designed, and flown missions that are now in the community system and anyone can come and check out they can download the community system from the simple rockets 2 website and fly other people's builds or add their own through the iss discord so what is the community system it is a collaborative sandbox the way it works is pretty simple uh, you are able to upload sandboxes to the Simple Rockets 2 website, and that allows us to share a sandbox by basically taking turns. So one person will download the last version of the system, they'll fly their mission, they'll add their part to the system, and then they will re-upload the system back to the website and share a link in a Google Drive uh, Excel spreadsheet where another person can go, find the newest version of the system, download it, and the process starts over. What this allows us to do is to coordinate between any number of players to build really whatever we want. Uh, there are currently several space stations in the system, multiple manned missions to other planets, lots of satellites, and I mean lots of satellites in the system right now. It is pretty intense. So let's take a look at some of the best crafts in the ISS community system starting off with my most recent space station addition to the system this is the iss laboratory it is a uh, pretty large space station here with multiple expanding modules you'll see these cream modules here all inflate out to their full size they shrink down to where just the white is visible there which allows you to transport several of them in one launch and you get more volume for your payload it is a pretty cool space station. I was pr very proud of it and, and how it turned out. We have uh, these large solar arrays providing it power. We have here a command module, several general purpose habitat modules, and then these inflatable modules, which I like to imagine are being used by the crew of the space station to store uh, supplies to use as living spaces and to grow food for the space station. So. This one is a personal favorite of mine since I was the one who built it, but I do think it is probably one of the top stations in the system. Another top station that is in the space, uh, the ISS community system is the Avalia space station. This was submitted as part of a competition to see who could design the best space station. And ultimately, this station came out on top. It is a beautiful work of art, although it is on the night side of the planet. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's get it around to the day side so we can actually take a look at it. Here we go. This guy is pretty intense looking. Uh, very well done. A very high level of detail added to all these parts. These solar arrays are custom built. Uh, this space station was launched before the most recent update, which includes the uh, customizable solar arrays that, you know, looking back on would have been a convenient, uh, convenient addition, but they have done a very good job. We have a large, uh, large habitat space here. We have, uh, smaller service modules, a lot of truss work, the actual power modules here, fuel tanks for, uh, you know, crafts that are docking all in all, it's very well put together. Very interesting. A lot of attention to detail put into all these smaller spaces on this space station. Other things worth taking a look at are a lot of these satellite constellations. So we have a number of small satellites. We have these cube satellites right here, which are fairly unassuming looking, very basic satellites. Uh, we have some orbital debris floating around, but we also have uh, things like these uh, survey satellites and uh, another one the john smith space station which is definitely worth taking a look at let's pull that up so here we have the john smith space station this is probably one of the most recent builds uh and is actually a multi uh multi-member community project several different members of the community have been working together on building this space station and they've done a fairly good job of it the original sections here were flown by one player and then an additional player flew up and docked this second section over here to the space station which is just one of the things that you can do here in the community system 
So we have lots of lots of different things we can do here. The other thing that we have done is added uh, a refueling, a refinery, a fuel refinery. That's what it's called, fuel refineries. So what does a fuel refinery do? Well, someone a while ago built uh, basically a mod, not a mod, uh, but a number of stock parts that had been XML edited, tinkered, to have uh, certain properties and a Visu program that would allow them to work together in such a way that you could simulate uh, generating fuel on the surface of a planet. Once you've generated that fuel or mined those raw resources, you can then take it up to a refinery, process it into the necessary components for rocket fuel. This is one such uh, fuel refinery that is currently in orbit around Brigo, one of the moons of Drew. Here we have large Hydrolox and Methalox fuel storage tanks. You see the Hydrolox tank is currently full. Methalox tank is not quite as full for sure. This thing is actually able to process fuel and is mod free which makes it a mobile-friendly installation to the game. Very cool. We've also added, because of the massive power consumption requirements of a fuel refinery, a space-based nuclear reactor right here. This module right here generates a ton of electricity and powers the fuel refinery here. We also have docked to it a lander. This lander actually takes... Uh, raw resources from the surface. It has mining drills right here. These mining drills are used to extract the raw resources. Once it's extracted those raw resources, it flies up and docks with the refinery and transfers the raw resources from its tanks to be processed into fuel. The other major thing we have going on in this system is the Nebra Station 1. This is a land base on the moon of Tidus Nebra. It was actually built and launched by me in one of the live streams I did a while back. And it is still chugging along just fine here on the surface of Nebra. You can actually come down to it and take a look at it posted here on the slope of one of these large volcanic mountains on the surface of Nebra. This is a very, actually very steep mountain here. Uh, this is a apparently volcanic Yep, very much so a volcanic island chain on the surface of an alien planet. Pretty cool place to put a base, I gotta say. Pretty cool place to put something like this down. So, that is another place you can visit here in the system. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, and leave a comment as well on this video if you enjoyed it. Liking and commenting absolutely helps the algorithm a ton, and it helps get uh, this video out to more people. If you would be interested in adding your own creations to the ISS community system, you can go to my Discord. The link is below in the description. Uh, there in the Discord, you'll get access to everything you'll need to know to launch your own missions here and have it added to the permanent uh iss community system sandbox there is a ton of work done by other players and we would love we would love to see your creations added to it anyway guys thanks for watching my name is delta lead stay safe out there and keep on building